Hi everyone. Uh, so in this video, we are going to talk about queues uh, in C sharp. So if you have seen the last video, we did uh, talk about stacks and uh, no stacks. There's a, a class in C sharp collection library uh, that we used the last time. So today we are going to see a similar class which is called queue. Right. So the difference between stacks and queues is uh, that stack is a last in first out data structure. Right? So whatever element that you put last in the stack is the first that you can remove from the stack. But queues are different. Right? If you think about queues uh, like like any queue, uh, for example, if you're uh, at a grocery store and if you're trying to buy something and there's a queue at the billing counter, uh, so whoever the person goes into the queue first is is the first one to go out right so this is that's why this is first in first out data structure okay so how do we create a queue in c sharp so we can say queue and we are going to use the generic version so i'll create a queue of string um, let's call it as just say name queue let's do new queue so like in stacks where we were pushing elements to the stack in queues, what we do is we in queue. Right? So what I can say is name queue dot. It should be in queue. And while we do an in queue, we do is we can in queue a. So I'll copy this. Space, space, paste. So this one is B, this one is C, let's say this one is D. OK, so that's our first operation. So now we can remove elements from the queue. So what I can say is name queue dot DQ. We'll just call it as D. Right, so this is going to DQ A uh, from the queue. Right? So we'll just run this application and see how, how it is functioning. Uh, so uh, let's let's just put a breakpoint here and then start this application. So the control has come here, so we have Q and the Q has four elements, so A, B, C, D. Let's press F. C, F10. So now it has dequeued an element. Now if we see, see the contents of the queue, it just has three elements and it's B, C, D. Yeah, so the first element that was enqueued to this queue is actually removed from DQ. Okay, so this is the first operation <coughs> which is called dequeue. So similarly, we have uh, peak. So we can say name queue dot peak. Yeah, so the same thing what we saw in stacks. Uh, so string. So string, uh, I'll just call it as P. Somehow have insert on. Cancel. Just a second. Yeah, uh, sorry. So name Q dot peak. So this should uh, so when we are peaking now the Q has B C D at this point because we have D Q A. Uh, so now when when we peak, it should just return B in in this uh, variable P. But the Q would still have these three elements, right? Uh, so let's run this. So F ten. Okay. So D was A at this time. It had three elements B, C, D. We did peak, but yeah, still has three elements, but P has a value B. Yeah, all right. So this is good. So the next operation we saw for stacks was we loop through all the elements in the stack. Similarly, we can do a for each. Uh, item in. Name Q, just call it as name, and then I can say console dot write line name. 
this is how we loop. I'll put a breakpoint here. This press F5. Let's go back to the console. So this has BCD, yeah, because we have dequeued A anyways. All right. So next operation is uh, so we did names dot contains A. Similarly, we can do that here as well. So I'll say name Q dot contains. Say A. This is this is actually going to return where sorry. This is actually going to return false because by this time we have already dequeued uh, A. I'll actually let's let's put this operation before DQ and then we'll put it uh, here as well. Okay. So start this application. So if you see here. OK, I'm just I'll just put back the control here. And then let's say F5. False. Second. Right, let's see what. And F10, yeah, so this should be true because A is there in the queue. Now we DQ. Now we loop through. We do console. Right line, console right line, and then we try to check again. See, to be okay. We just ran it twice, so it it updated the same. I'll I'll just run this again. Okay, so let's put a breakpoint here, and let's start this again. All right, so let's see from starting, right? So now we have four elements. Now this is true because A is there in the queue. Uh, now we dequeued. That is fine. So this is OK. This should loop three times, three times. Yeah, so now this becomes false because A is not there in the queue. All right, so contains works. We can also do name queue dot clear. So if you do clear, it removes everything from the queue and that's it i think let's put a breakpoint here and do one final run so i'll say if yeah so name now it has zero elements because we have cleared everything all right okay so that's all about queues let's do a quick uh, recap uh, so queue is uh, first in first out data structure uh, so in C sharp, we already have a definition in uh, system dot collection dot generic namespace. We if you are using non generic version, uh, it's in system dot collection class. So in this case, we created a queue of string type. So we enqueued elements, which is uh, same as uh, the push operation in stacks. So we added four elements to this queue. Then we checked if an element is there in the queue or not using contains method. Uh, we can use DQ to remove an element uh, uh, from a queue and it would be uh, the first element which is added to the queue is the first one which would be removed. Uh, similarly, we can use peak. Peak is to just see what's at the top of the queue. Uh, it would not remove that element from the queue. Uh, we can loop through all the queue elements using for each loop. Uh, we can uh, use clear to remove all the elements from the queue. OK. Alright, so that's all from this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.